The Cancellation Policies program can be found in the Setup section for each applicable module. Use this program to define policies that will be applied when a registration for an event, an appointment, or a court booking is cancelled by the customer. To create a new policy, select the New button, or select an existing policy to review or make edits to it. Enter a description for the policy with a max of 35 characters. Make sure the active field is flagged so that you can assign the policy to the applicable module. Decide whether this policy will be applied based on days or hours in advance. This will determine at what point in time the policy begins taking effect. The policy section will update based on your selection. For days in advance, set the number of days prior to the start date and a time. For hours in advance, set the number of hours in advance. Set the fees to charge as an amount or percentage. And enter the value to be charged. The module tabs will be available based on the modules your clip has. Configure the settings for each module that will utilize this cancellation policy. The Event Management tab lets you define the sales item to be used in this policy. Only one sales item can be applied for each policy. The date beyond which no further cancellations will be allowed for a given event is defined on an event-by-event -event basis. The Appointment Booking tab allows you to restrict an activity type and its sales item to the policy. Multiple lines can be added. The date beyond which no further cancellations will be allowed for an appointment is defined within the activity type. In the Court Booking tab, flag if this policy can be applied to court bookings. Optionally enable to remove cancellation fees if rebooked. If selected, the cancellation fees will be removed for a member who cancelled their booking provided that someone else rebooks that time after they cancel. If not selected, every cancellation against a given time is subject to the fee. You can also enable a cancellation deadline and set the time frame in days or hours in advance relative to the booking start time at which users can no longer cancel their reservation. Once you've completed the cancellation policy setup, select Save. Complete the setup for each required cancellation policy. Now that you have created your cancellation policies, let's take a look at how we can apply the policy to the applicable module. When creating an event, in the Parameters General tab, you can add a cancellation policy in the Cancellations and Billing section using the Cancellation Policy dropdown. You can also set a date and time for when cancellations can be made up until, and flag if cancelled reservations will be auto-charged slash billed. For appointment booking, a cancellation policy can be added to the activity type in the Appointment Booking General tab. Use the Cancellation Policy dropdown to select the policy. Indicate when cancellations can be made until, either in days or hours, and set the number of days or hours in advance. A cancellation policy for court bookings can be applied to a court type within the General Main Information tab. Use the Cancellation Policy dropdown to select the policy. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.